Hey everyone, today is going to be my first hair tutorial and I'm going to show you how I straighten my hair. Now I have pretty long, thick, wavy, um, even on the curly side hair and I've struggled over the years to find the best way to straighten my hair, um, do it in the quickest time possible. I used to spend upwards of an hour on getting my hair straight because of course when we have curly hair we want straight hair, when we have straight hair we wish we had curly hair. You know how that goes. But I feel like I finally kind of perfected how I style my hair and I've been really happy with it over the past year so I thought I would share um, the process I go through with you guys and if I can even help out one or two people I think it'll be worth it because I know I always had a hard time finding tutorials um, from people who had similar hair to me. People always had straighter hair, um, thinner hair, or hair that was way more curly than mine. So I figured I'd put this out there and hopefully you guys can learn something from it. So let me know what you think about this hair video and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can catch any other videos I post and I'm also going to be posting Halloween videos over the next month and a half. So you can give me suggestions for those too. And let's get started. So the first thing I do when I get out of the shower is I use a large wide tooth comb like this and I just go ahead and comb through my hair and make sure there are any tangles and if there are I just want to make sure I get all of those out. I'll also go ahead and part my hair just generally where I normally wear my hair parted which I've already done so I have it off to the side a little bit. The first two products I use in my hair when it's still wet are these two I have right here which are the Aveda Smooth Infusion style prep smoother and you can get this at any Aveda salon or I picked this up at the Aveda store that's in my local mall. I'll do about one and a half pumps maybe roughly the size of a dime into the palm of my hand and then I also go ahead and take my Moroccan argan oil from the brand Organics and I just put the tiniest bit of that this is not going to be easy to show you guys but I just kind of put it in with the um, other product. I rub the products together in my hands and then just start applying it through my hair like this. Now I focus on the bottom half of my hair and the reason being I don't want my roots to get really oily and I don't want my hair to be really weighed down. Now once I have the product in my hair, depending on how much time I have, I'll either let my hair air dry or I will blow dry it. Now tonight I'm obviously going to blow dry it so I can film this video and show you guys how I straighten my hair. So this is the blow dryer I use here and it's pretty old. I picked it up at Sally Beauty Supply maybe four or five years ago. It still works pretty good. I forgot to mention. This is the brush that I use when I straighten and blow dry my hair. It's just a large Conair um, flat paddle brush. There's nothing really special about it. I believe these are sold at CVS, Target, Walgreens, all of those types of stores. And I've just been really happy with it and I find it easy to style my hair with. So after I have finished blow drying my hair, it pretty much will look like this. And if you can believe it, it looks even crazier if it air dries. Maybe you could go ahead and stop at this point if you were going to be Hermione for Halloween. But if you want to have more sleek, straight, nice hair, then we will continue and go ahead and start flat ironing. Now I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit more of this Moroccan Argan Oil. And just get some in my hand and I'm going to work this mostly through my ends. Again, I don't want my hair to feel heavy and I definitely don't want the roots and top of my hair to be greasy. Now, the hair straightener that I use is the GHD 1 Inch Professional and it looks like this and this has a little cover that it came with just to help for storage and keep it clamped together. And when you take it off, it just looks like your average 1 inch flat iron. I love this flat iron. I can't say it enough. In April, when my husband and I went on our honeymoon, I had found out that the old flat iron I had, which was the Chi Turbo, wouldn't work with the voltage that they have over in London and in other parts of the UK. So I had to get another flat iron, of course, because this wasn't going to fly on my honeymoon. 
and um, I found out that the GHD had a universal voltage. So I actually bought mine from Sephora and they're an authorized reseller of GHD. And I decided to go for their professional one inch flat iron. I got kind of upsold when I was there, but the girls at the store, just grabbing the box, um, they explained to me that this one, this is the box that it comes in, is a little bit better for your hair than their traditional one inch. Now, they told me that it has a way to adapt to your hair. So you're not gonna be able to see, but there's no heat adjustment on this. They told me that on the professional, that as you're flat ironing your hair, it knows when you get to the thinner ends of your hair and adjusts the heat. And that sounds kind of weird to me and I can't really vouch for how true that is because I don't know, but I've seen this in multiple places. So uh, maybe it does have some fancy technology where it does this, but I got upsold and I really love this flat iron regardless. Now I'm gonna get started with the flat ironing. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this switch on. And I don't know if you could hear it, but it makes this little startup beep. And it's gonna beep at me once it's heated up to the highest temperature. And I can't remember what temperature it gets to right now, so I'm gonna put it in an annotation when I can look online. I'm gonna go ahead and just put my hair into those two sections like I did earlier when I was blow drying. And again, with the rubber band, I'm gonna put, ooh, it's ready. I'm gonna put this section off to the side just to keep it out of my way. Now this is the first section I'm going to use and this is just how I do my hair and I think it works great for really thick, kind of frizzy, hard to straighten hair. I go ahead and I just start off with a section about this much at the bottom and then I'll just go ahead and pin the rest of my hair up. Again, just kind of keeping it out of the way, getting a really cool hairstyle. And then I will take my paddle brush. You can use a comb um, or whatever tool you like using best for your hair, but this works good for me. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start running this through my hair. See, now my hair is pretty much already nice, straight, and smooth. Now, because I do have that curly hair, sometimes I need to get in at that very bottom part close to my scalp, just to make sure those little frizzies get nice and straight. Now, another thing you might see me do while I'm straightening my hair is just flipping my hair out at the end a little bit, just to create some different texture and just a tiny bit of curl so that when my hair is straight that it's not just stick straight and since I do have the ombre color in my hair I don't want my hair to be really straight because it can tend to look a little strange with that but having the different movement in the hair definitely looks a lot better so what I'll do is with small sections I'll just go ahead and alternating directions do a little flip like that and you can see it just puts a tiny little curl at the bottom. And if you do too much curl, I don't know about you, but my hair um, tends to lose curl. So it will relax a little bit as I do the rest of my hair. Now I have my second section of hair over here. And I took a little bit of a um, thicker section because what I'm gonna do here is from this section, separate it into maybe, depending how big it is, two or three different chunks. And I'm gonna go ahead and just clip this section I'm not doing yet up and out of the way into another really cool hairstyle and then sometimes I'll use my hand but the hair does get hot so I will just use my brush and continue straightening that piece and let's see I want to say it takes me about four or five pass throughs just to get my hair to um, the desired look that I want and then like I said I will take this section of hair and just go ahead and do a nice little flippy at the end. And these don't have to all look the same. They can be random, go in different directions, and you'll see how it all comes together when my hair is finished. So yeah, this is going to be about three sections from that piece. And then you can tuck this behind your ear instead of using a clip if you want, just whatever is easiest for you. And then again, go ahead and start straightening your hair. You can already see just with those little flippies that I'm doing at the end, it gives my hair movement and just a little, um, 
I don't know if you'd call it texture, but it just breaks it up a little bit instead of just that straightness the whole way down. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the rest of my hair. Okay, so now I'm done with one side of my hair. And if you were curious, I would say straightening this side took me about five minutes. Now, I will note that this side of my hair has less hair because my hair is parted more heavily to my right side. And just to finish off this side, or finish off my hair after I flat iron it, I use the Aveda Air Control Hairspray. And I will just go ahead and lightly spray this on my ends and kind of just all over my hair and I find this helps with humidity and just keeps my hair nice and in place and keeps those little flippies in nicely and now I'm just gonna go ahead and straighten the other side of my hair the same way I did this one and I will be back when it's finished so now I'm done straightening my hair and I've scooted back a little bit so you can see all of my hair my hair is pretty long and now you can tell that those little flippies that I did just kind of gave my hair a little more movement um, and just made it so that it's not just a really boring straight kind of look. And it took me, I want to say about 8 to 10 minutes to do this side of my hair and about 5 to do this side. And again, because I have more hair on the part going this way. I'm just going to go ahead and turn around so you can see the back of my hair.